All right, we have started recording this press conference for the um, announcements related to the phasing for the City of Independence services and facilities. Mayor Weir will kick things off this morning with a brief statement and then City Manager Zach Walker will give details on the changes to the services and facilities for the City of Independence. We also have with us um, Incident Command Leader uh, Fire Chief Doug Short and our City Health Director Christina Heinen. So Mayor, if you want to go ahead and give your statement, we do have one more member of the media that will be joining us, but we'll add them in when they arrive. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good morning and thank you for joining us today as we announce some changes to the City of Independence State of Emergency that was issued on March the 12th. Over the past two months, our citizens and businesses have shown incredible character, strength, and dedication in closely following the precautions to contain the spread of novel coronavirus. Independence is known as a community that comes together during hard times and cares for our neighbors, especially those in most need of our support and protection. Thank you. Because of your sacrifices, I am pleased to announce that we are able to slowly reopen some city facilities and services beginning June 1st. Phase one of the reopening is expected to last until June 30th. This will allow for adequate time to understand the impact of reopening on the health of the community. COVID-19 is a serious health threat. We are continuing to learn from our health professionals how the virus is spread and its effect on those who are infected. As we reopen services and facilities to our city employees and the public, I urge you to continue to limit your activities to only those that are essential. Maintain social distancing of at least six feet, wear a face covering when you leave your home or property, wash your hands frequently, and stay home if you are sick or have been in close contact with someone who is sick. Thank you again for being with us today. I'm going to turn it over to City Manager Zach Walker, who will share the details of the Independence Phase One reopening. Thank you, Madam Mayor, um, and thank you all for joining us here today. Um, as Mayor Weir said, it's been our approach to here in Independence to uh, follow the data follow the guidance of our public health officials. Uh, and as such, we are uh, announcing a reopening plan uh, to begin June the 1st, but certainly one that uh, takes a very cautious and measured approach um, at moving forward. Um, with that said, a couple of key announcements that I wanna provide uh, for you today. Um, city facilities that will be open beginning on June 1st with modified hours include our independent city hall, the Independence Police Headquarters, and our Independence Utility Center. Uh, guests and staff uh, who visit these facilities will be required to participate in a temperature check and basic health screening prior to entrance to ensure that they have no fever or other symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, these city facilities are going to be open three days a week, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m which will allow us adequate time for deep cleaning in between uh, the times in which they are open to the public. Uh, other areas that we would like to highlight for our public today, um, our regional animal shelter will be open for adoptions beginning June 1st by appointment only uh, with one guest and one family at a time. Um, to set up an appointment there, please call 816-325-7207. Our community development department located on the second floor of City Hall We'll have two windows open uh, beginning June the 1st. One window will be for payments and the other information. These windows will be located at opposite ends of the counter uh, with a temporary barrier in place to protect staff and visitors. Our municipal court uh, will resume in-person court dates on June the 2nd. Those individuals who wish to pay for a municipal uh, court ticket or speak to court staff will be able to do so with access to every other window and social distancing markers on the floor. Parks, Recreation, and Tourism facilities, um, including our Roger T. Sermon Community Center, the Truman Memorial Building, the Palmer Center, the National Frontier Trails Museum, the Uptown Market, the Vale Mansion, and the Bingham Wagner Estate will remain closed until at least July 1st. 
Uh, as previously mentioned, the police department uh, lobby head and headquarters will be open to the public from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays with access to every other window and markers on the floor for social distancing. Uh, the Independence Utilities Customer Service Center, where our customers are able to pay their utility bills. Windows will be open to the public from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays with access to every other window and social distancing markers on the floor with guidance for any lines that may begin to form. The drive-through feature will also be open during these hours. Cash payments will be accepted at the windows and through the drive-through. Um, utility bill payments, you, we will um, continue to suspend utility shutoffs uh, as well as late fees and credit card processing fees until further notice. Uh, those, those will um, remain in place at this time. Customers are encouraged to keep current on utility bills as they are able to. Um, and for more information on assistance programs and resources that are available in the area, please visit cslc19.org backslash help. Our city greatly benefits from many, many volunteers who play an important role in many of our city departments. However, volunteer programs have been suspended until further notice with the exception of the Medical Reserve Corps, which is overseen by the Emergency Management Division of the Fire Department. There are a variety of volunteer opportunities throughout the community outside of our city departments, which can be found on our COVID-19 website at indep.us backslash coronavirus. Um, and I wanna to conclude today by noting um, several venues that will be opening across the city. Um, including our community ice rink at the Cable Dahmer Arena, uh, tennis courts, etc. Tennis and pickleball courts will reopen to the public on June 1st for singles play only. Our skate park will reopen on June 1st as well. The Independence Community Ice at the Cable Dahmer Arena will reopen on June 1 with modified operations. Park shelters will reopen for rentals no earlier than June 1st and patrons who use those facilities are strongly encouraged to bring their own cleaning supplies to sanitize the surfaces before using picnic tables. Playgrounds, basketball courts, and ball fields will remain closed through phase one, which is June 30th. You can find the Jackson County reopening phases, which address individual businesses, events, and gatherings uh, on our website. For the latest updates on changes to services, closing and cancellations in the City of Independence related to COVID-19, please do visit indep.us backslash coronavirus. Thank you. So at this time we are um, open to any questions from our uh, media partners that are on the call. If you have a question, you can unmute yourself and ask that, or you can send it in during, uh, via the chat function. Mayor Weir, Mike Janay here. Um, just wonder how many, do you have any idea how many phases that you foresee this reopening taking on? Um, yes, we, um, that information will be sent out um, along with the press release and um, today or in the next few minutes, we anticipate four phases um, in our reopening plan. Um, those will be determined, of course, by health data that we receive to um, inform us if we were able to move forward with those phases. Do we have any other questions? I guess would that fourth phase be a vaccine or type treatment. I mean, kind of similar to what the county has laid out. Yeah, let me pull that up, Mike. I don't have it in front of me. Zach, do you have that handy? Yeah, Mike, um, I don't think, um, let, let me answer that this way. Um, as you know, Mayor Weir's been heavily involved in the regional conversation through the MACG group and has been a strong advocate of gating criteria the public health officials have a number of important criteria. I know Christina Heinen's on the call and could specify those for you if interested. Um, what we're doing here in Independence, again, taking a cautious approach, um, really putting an emphasis more on the timeline of, of four weeks between each phase, Mike, 
uh, and that being scalable based on what the data is telling us. So um, I think we're all fairly aware that it's going to take time to get a vaccine in place. Um, the gating criteria more or less relate to things like a decrease in the number of cases, a sustained decreases in cases between each of these phases with an increase in the amount of available testing and contact tracing and PPE um, for all of our um, um, essential personnel. Any other questions? All right, so our media partners do have a copy of that press release uh, via email at this time. It will be up on our website shortly with the modifications to that in depth.us slash coronavirus website that Zach mentioned in his comments. We continue to modify this as the details come into us. So it is very important to note that this is a work in progress and will be modified accordingly based on information from our health um, partners in the region and working with uh, others um, in cities across the metro area. So if you have any other questions, please email those to me at mlewis at indepmo.org and we'll get those back to you. But thank you all for joining us and we'll talk to you soon.